When it comes to evaluating young up and coming talent, there is a ton of work put into it that spans over years as scouts try to figure out who is going to be the next big thing to take over the NHL. However, scouts don't always get it right and we've seen many teams pick players who turn out to be complete busts and we've seen players who have gone overlooked turn out to be superstars. That's exactly what this video is going to be all about. The diamonds in the roughs, the draft steals, whatever else you want to call them. Here are the top six greatest late round draft picks in NHL history. Luke Robitaille drafted in the ninth round 171st overall. Luke Robitaille, a left winger, was inducted into the Hall of Fame and had an incredibly successful junior hockey career. Surprisingly, he went undrafted until the ninth round despite his outstanding performance. During his time in the QMJHL, Robitaille played 197 games and accumulated an impressive total of 424 points. In his draft year alone, he scored 55 goals and earned 148 points. Despite proving himself as a strong offensive player, Robitaille's draft prospects declined due to concerns about his skating ability. Many scouts believe that while he excelled near the net, he lacked the agility and physicality required to compete at the NHL level. During his final year after being selected in the 1984 NHL draft, Robitaille demonstrated his skills by scoring 68 goals and amassing 191 points. Robitaille seamlessly transitioned into the NHL in the 1986-87 season and immediately made a significant impact. He scored an impressive 45 goals and achieved a total of 84 points, earning him the Calder Trophy. Throughout his 19-year NHL career, Luke Robitaille was selected as an All-Star 13 times and had four seasons with 100 or more points. He managed to score 40 goals on five occasions, 50 goals twice, and had an exceptional 92-93 season, scoring 63 goals. Although Robitaille played for the LA Kings for 14 years, he won his one and only Stanley Cup as a player in the 2001-2002 season with the Detroit Red Wings. Henrik Zetterberg, drafted in the 7th round, 210th overall. Henrik Zetterberg entered the league as a relatively unknown player. Before his selection, Zetterberg was honing his skills in the Swedish Hockey League. However, he hadn't gained much recognition from his team, and as a result of that, he hadn't been extensively scouted. It was the Detroit Red Wings European scout who suggested to management that they should take a chance on Zetterberg if he was still available in later rounds. And what a brilliant suggestion this turned out to be. Three years after being drafted, Zetterberg made his NHL day debut at the age of 22. In his first full season, he impressively scored 22 goals and became the runner-up for the Calder Trophy. Throughout his 15-year tenure with the Detroit Red Wings, Zetterberg accumulated 960 points with 337 goals and 623 assists. Zetterberg played a crucial role in leading the Red Wings to a Stanley Cup championship. His contributions were so significant that he was honored with the Conn Smythe Trophy as the most valuable player of the playoffs, having scored 27 points in 22 playoff games that year. Zetterberg has also enjoyed a lengthy international hockey career representing Sweden. He has competed in various prestigious tournaments such as the World Junior Championship, World Championship, and the Olympic Games three different times. Doug Gilmore, drafted in the 7th round, 134th overall. Doug Gilmore, similar to Luke Robitaille, had an impressive junior career. Throughout his three seasons with the Cornwall Royals, Gilmore demonstrated his offensive abilities by scoring 128 goals and accumulated 331 points. However, as we've seen with other players, Gilmore's size played a significant role in his drop during the 1982 NHL entry draft. Scouts argue that standing at a mere 5 feet 7 inches, he was considered too small and his weight was also deemed inadequate. Despite his evident offensive skills, he appeared easily dislodged from the puck in the draft year. Nonetheless, Gilmore's outstanding performance with 46 goals and 119 points made him too talented to be overlooked, leading to his selection by the St. Louis Blues. Although Gilmore's initial three NHL seasons were relatively average, he exploded in his fourth season with the Blues, impressively scoring 42 goals and earning 105 points during the 86-87 season. It was from this point onward that Gilmore solidified 
solidified his reputation as an elite player in the NHL. Throughout his remarkable 19-year NHL career, Doug Gilmore tallied 450 goals and 1,414 points. Notably, he achieved a remarkable 127-point season in the 92-93 season while playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Gilmore also secured a Stanley Cup championship with the Calgary Flames and was honored with the Frank J. Selkie Trophy in the 92-93 season as the league's top defensive forward. In recognition of his outstanding contributions to the sport, Doug Gilmore was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2011. Brett Hall, drafted in the 6th round, 117th overall. Brett Hall, who was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2009, defied expectations as a late round selection in the 1984 NHL entry draft by the Calgary Flames. It is incredibly surprising considering his exceptional performance in the BCJHL during his draft year. Hall, playing for the Penticton Knights, impressively scored 105 goals and amassed 188 points in just 57 games played. Although Hall's stint with the Calgary Flames lasted only two seasons before being involved in one of the most infamous trades in NHL history, he quickly established himself as an elite offensive player in the league. Throughout his remarkable 19-year career, Hall gained a reputation as a prolific goal scorer, recording an impressive eight seasons with 40 or more goals, including outstanding campaigns of 57, 70, 72, and 80 goals. Currently, he ranks fifth in NHL history for the most goals scored with an impressive tally of 741. Alongside his remarkable goal scoring feats, Hall contributed 650 assists, resulting in a total of 1,391 points throughout his career. With 11 all-star appearances to his name, Hall's accolades include winning the Lady Bing, Ted Lindsay, and Hart Memorial trophies, as well as securing two Stanley Cups. On top of that, he also represented Team USA in the Olympics twice. Pavel Datsuk drafted in the 6th round, 171st overall. The selection of Pavel Datsuk with the 171st overall pick proved to be an absolute steal for the Red Wings. Similar to Henrik Zetterberg, the Detroit Red Wings European scout didn't hold high expectations for Pavel Datsuk. However, he did suggest to the Detroit management that if Datsuk was still available in the later rounds, he might be worth taking a chance on. That decision, along with the selection of Zetterberg, showcases the exceptional player development prowess of the Detroit Red Wings organization, which earned them praise from not only the league but throughout the hockey world. Datsuk's junior career took place in the Russian Elite League. During that time, he struggled to contribute significantly, averaging less than half a point per game with a meager 31 points in 79 games played. Based on his performance at that stage, Datsuk seemed like a long shot for NHL success, requiring considerable time to develop his skills. After another year of development, Pavel began to show signs of reaching his potential and earned a spot on the Red Wings roster out of training camp. In his very first season, the Wings went on to win the Stanley Cup, providing Datsuk with valuable playoff experience through 21 games. From that point forward, Datsuk's game continued to progress. Following the lockout season, Datsuk went on to win four consecutive Lady Bing trophies and three Selkie trophies while consistently posting point totals near the the century mark. Datsuk achieved 918 points through 953 games played. As a two-time Stanley Cup champion, Datsuk stands as an absolute hockey inspiration and a symbol of hope for those selected late or even completely overlooked in the NHL draft. Dominic Hasek, drafted in the 10th round, 199th overall. Back in 1983, the Chicago Blackhawks made a remarkable choice by selecting Dominic Hasek as the 199th overall pick. Remarkably, Hasek was only the 17th goalie chosen in that draft. Over the course of an impressive 16-year NHL career, Hasek firmly established himself as one of the greatest goaltenders to have ever graced the game. His extraordinary achievements include capturing six Vezina trophies, two Hart trophies, and two Stanley Cups. Hasek's impact extended beyond his NHL success. He played a pivotal role in leading the Czech's national team to its first and only Olympic gold at the 1998 Olympics, greatly contributing to the emergence of European goaltenders in a league that had long been dominated by North Americans. His exceptional performance helped pave the way for a new era in goaltending. Recognizing his incredible contributions, Dominic Hasek was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2014, solidifying his legacy as a true icon of the sport. Thanks for watching our videos. Don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button.